So we've come down to just look and see what nature has to offer on this day. February the 8th. And this is Peaceful Acres Pastures. This is where my parents lived for so long. Good. You ready? Ready? Go get him, Max. Woo! <laughs> Look at him go! Good boy! Good boy! Now we get to work. So I brought with me um, seeds to spread and my clippers, of course. Look at those birch trees. I intend to uh, tap those this year. The bee bomb patches around on the other side, right between those two streams. And that's all going to be ready and come July. Mom and Dad's house was up that hill there. And this is the pasture that Daddy used to run his golf cart all the way around the perimeter with, with his collie, Chippy. Lots of good memories here. Look at those shadows of those trees. So amazing. So we're going to just look at some leaf casings and spread a few seeds. What do I have to spread? I have... Lamb's quarter, this is not the best place for lamb's quarter because it really likes cultivated soil, but milkweed, absolutely. And if you can see that, ascopias. I really want butterflies to come and I want the food as well. Yucca seeds, never tried to grow yucca from a seed, but mullein does well. And I've got some evening primrose and some nettle. So we'll see what we do. You can tell that there's some treats in there for him and he's pretty excited. Nope, not now, you have to wait. Okay, let's see what there is to see. So, <clears throat> first we're just gonna look at some leaf casings. This here, these beautiful birches, I'm gonna definitely tap them for their sap. But you can see there are little budding leaf casings. They're pretty tight right now. You can see some of their little conifers or little cones that they've got. Oh, there's their hot dogs. See that? so cute. Um, I don't know if they're edible. They're certainly not very palatable. But in the case of extreme hunger, you never know what's going to be come all of a sudden the vogue. Alright, so I'm going to take two of these branches because I want to use them for identification purposes. You can see all the way up. The deer nibble on these. Um, this is a highly nutritious tree and has a lot of gifts to it. Someday I'll do a, cl a class on it, but for now, I just wanted to talk about the little buds, the leaf buds. Ready? 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 Go get him out! Come on! <laughs> See those beautiful tulip shapes? This is a tulip poplar seed pod. Probably already dropped all of its seeds. Oh my goodness, I love these trees. They get to be super tall. I think one of my best friends was a tulip poplar. It was clear cut in October of 2017. And I still think about it and miss it. all those tulips up in the tree. They have beautiful yellow and orange flowers that make very tasty nectar in the spring. Yeah. So I think that the leaf casings look like duck bills. So I'm going to try to get a couple of, couple of those. Those are too high up for me to reach. But you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Max, what are you doing? Oh my goodness, he rolled in something and he's going to be a mess. Ugh, he probably stink. Um, two of each branch type in my basket so I can take it home with me and use it for identification games with my apprentices.
This is the leaf casing of a <laughs> of a red oak. In focus there. I think they kind of look like a Florida Lee. Look at that beautiful Magnolia Acuminata and see this leaf casing. Came from those twin trees right there. This one has extremely precious meaning to me. Very soft, beautiful sage green. These turn into huge, huge leaves. And then their seed pods, well, the flowers are quite showy. And then the seed pods are such a bright red that cardinals will even come to bait, mate with them thinking that it's a, uh, a bird. They're huge and they're red. But when you pick them and put them on your counter, they turn black and the seeds inside are a gorgeous orange. So someday I'll tell you my story about that. Uh, this this particular tree is really precious to me. I'm going to go ahead and clip off a couple of these twigs and let's go on to the next tree. One of the ways to identify a tree is to look at the debris below it. And there's lots of acorns all over the place here. So also looking at the leaf casings, I can tell this is a red oak. Look at that stand of red oaks. Aren't they gorgeous? They're just so majestic. Okay, Mom will get you your treat, bud. Oh my gosh, I love this plant. Six edible vegetables from one wild plant. Free for the melon and the picking. I'm always trying to plant them because I want the monarchs to have a place to lay their eggs for the larvae to eat. They only eat the milkweed pulp. Or the milkweed pulp for me. All right, so. I'm going to save this because you never know what I want to use it for. In a wreath or for an angel wings or who knows. Anyway, that was beautiful. Look, they're all over the place. So hopefully they'll make, make a home here. And this could be a new spot to collect milkweed. All right, Max, come to mom. Come here. All right, sit. Sit. Where have you been digging? Show mom. found a, um, a real mess over here. What did you find, buddy? What is it? <laughs> Must be some critter in there. It's going to be such a mess in the truck. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go back and have my quiet time, get home and get prepared for Teaching Tuesdays tomorrow. <laughs> well, I was just setting up to show everybody what it is I keep in my backpack. Um, so I always have uh, Linda Runyon's book, The Wild, The Essential Wild Food Survival Guide. And if you don't have that, I really recommend you buy it. She is such a real deal. She was such a mentor to me. She lived off the land 
for 13 years without any plumbing or electricity, um, totally off of wild edible plants. So her book is by Glenda Runyon. She is the real deal. So she's pretty special. And this book, she's got great stories, great illustrations. Um, she has many books, but this one is a must. She also taught the Navy SEALs how to eat off the land and made a card deck of that, which I don't have with me today. Um, these are the oils I'm using currently every day. I have um, an aromatherapist who is trained to figure out what oils are best for um, for individuals. And so these are the things that she determined I needed. So I use these each day along with different meditations. So I can I tell you how much I recommend Allison D's. If you want to get a hold of her, I'll give you her contact info. Then I have my journal and um, I always bring seeds to spread and my jeweler's loop so I can see things up close in my verse pack. And I love this particular book. This is called um, Streams in the Desert and it's a, my favorite devotional for, um, you know, besides reading the scripture. So I just can't tell you how much I've appreciated that. Anyway. So here Max and I are, and we're just gonna go ahead and read Streams in the Desert. I like to read to him. He enjoys hearing my voice, and um, gosh, Max, you're a disaster. I'm gonna go home and give him a bath. But it could, we couldn't ask for a more beautiful day. So not good. Well, all the time. If you wanted to know what trees are around, you can look at the ground. See the kind of debris you find. So I can see lots of buckeye uh, husks. So I know that buckeye is amongst these trees, and indeed. There. And what else can I find? Okay, there's a um, a beech nut. See the beech nut? And there's a beech tree. <laughs> well, what do you know? Oh, and look at that smooth bark. Oh, I love these trees. So beautiful. Let's see what there is along here, more beech. They tend to grow um, kind of close together, like a colony. Not sure how that turns out, but oh my word, something happened to this tree. Um, I know, I don't know what this is. Um, Anybody have a clue? I don't know. Oh, well, let's look at some of the, oh my goodness, this is, this is witch hazel. How cool is that? This is the deedest tree. They actually uh, shoot their seeds out in November. And they have beautiful yellow flowers in November, which is kind of interesting. But you can actually hear them as like little rifle shots coming out of their seed pods. So this is witch hazel. Well, that's good to know. Look how much there is. Oh my goodness, this is such a mess. Okay, well, we're going to head home now and clean him up. See you tomorrow for Teaching Tuesday.